how to create grid overlays in Photoshop. Now, first thing, open an image, and I'm gonna use guides, so view and new guide layout. Now, set the columns on, set rows on. Also set the number, so you can put four by four, six by six, whatever you want. Click OK. Now, use the line tool, and you're gonna use it as a shape. That's the key thing here, so it's a shape layer. And line tool in the toolbar. Okay, line tool. Go to there and you see shape. Set fill, fill to nothing. And stroke to black, green, blue, whatever you want. And then set a line width for that stroke. Now, another thing to make certain is the snap is on. That's the key thing here. So just go to the view menu and snap and snap to and guides. They should be on anyway by default. Now just go to the image itself and just use the, the actual guides with the line tool. Just drag that down just slightly above and slightly below. And of course, when you do the horizontal, obviously left to right, just slightly outside of the image as well and the other side. Just repeat that for all the, the guides. Now horizontally, You can repeat that all the way down. All right. Okay, so once you've actually done that, you can just go to View and Clear Guides. Just get rid of them. Okay, that's that. Now, Layer and Flatten Image. Now you can, of course, group all the shape layers if you wish as well. That's another thing. So you've got your guides, you've got your grid. You can also add any number of grids as well, so you can actually repeat this again. Maybe use 4x4 this time, so just go to View, New Guide Layout, and set the number to 4, and 4 again on the other side for rows. Click OK. Now go back to the Line tool, and instead of using black, you can use red, green, blue, etc. So set that, and change the width if you wish as well. And then just go, let's say, slightly there and slightly to the left, slightly to the right, just go across, that's it, and then obviously up and down, and again, just slightly above, slightly below the image, and you can repeat this numerous times if you want to create really complex grids, guides. Clear the guides, and then you can just go to layer and flatten it again, or maybe group the shape layers, it's up to you. And that's it, you've got your lovely grid overlay over your image. Hope you found this of interest, thank you much.